you're welcome to my channel in this video still under our topic planning for research in business research skills we shall be looking at a subtopic called the research problem yeah in our previous video we talked about the research process and we looked at all the steps that are in the research process so the steps that are supposed to be followed when doing research yeah so in this video we are going to look at a research problem yeah in in research any research must start with a problem without a problem there is no research and it's not that every problem is a research problem a problem in research is generally referred to as an information gap or a gap in knowledge that gap that is there in knowledge when you can't connect things well so you need to research in order for you to fill that gap yeah. not every problem in research is a research problem yeah and an example of a research problem is a continuous decline in sales level in a business while employees are working at their best that is a research problem employees are trying their best to work but there is still a decline in the sales level so you will have to find out what is really that problem yeah as we say that not every problem is a research problem so for a problem to be considered to be a research problem it must have the following characteristics first is that it must be supported by literature this means that a researcher must have read must have read enough literature to be able to ascertain the existence of a problem this is based on findings as well as recommendations of the previous researchers you must have read books you must have read newspapers like to ascertain the existence of the problem to know that that problem is really there and you must have based your things on what other people found out what other people recommended the previous researchers what they recommended yeah, so a research problem must be supported by literature. Another characteristic is that a research problem must be significant. It must be in position to address specific problems or the existing problems in the society. It must be in position to address the existing gaps. Yeah, maybe you, you found out that there is a gap between lectures and students performance lecturers are teaching but students are not performing so you will have to address the existing gap and find out what is really the problem so a research problem must be significant it must be aiming at addressing the existing gaps Another characteristic is that a research problem must be timely. It must be about the current challenges that a community is battling with, the current challenges that a society is facing. Like right now, the current challenge that we are facing is COVID-19. You cannot start researching about Ebola right now. It's not timely. It's not the current challenge that we are dealing with. Yeah, so a research problem must be timely. Then lastly, a research problem must be original. This means that a research problem must not be a repeat of what is already documented. You should not research about what was already researched. Yeah, so it should be original, it, it should be unique, with an intention of providing unique solutions that are needed by different stakeholders. Yeah, so those are the four characteristics of a research problem. It must be supported by literature, it must be significant, it must be timely, and then original. Let's look at identification of research problem. A research problem, the following steps need to be considered when identifying a research problem. Yeah, the first step is to select a field of study that you would like to base your study on. Yeah, the field of study, education, healthcare, anything. Yeah, so the first step is to select the field of study. Then the next step is observe the environment to see what is happening that can be considered to be a research problem. 
or make a review of the available literature to establish the limitations contained in there that can be considered as a new research problem or the information gap. Yeah. Then the third step is conduct a review of the literature to establish current trends and gaps in the field study. Then after that, you select the problem of your interest that you would like to base your research on. Yeah. After selecting the problem, you evaluate the problem using characteristics of a problem, and that is significant, timely, original, and then supported by literature. So you evaluate your problem based on the characteristics of a research problem. After evaluating, you state the research problem. Yeah. So those are the steps of identification of a research problem. First is selection of a field of study, then observe the environment, conduct a review of the literature, then select the problem of your interest, evaluate the problem after you state the problem. That was all about the research problem. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends and watch my next video. We shall be talking about the variables in research.